Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Microbiology Easy Notes. If you like this channel, please like, subscribe, comment and share. In this video, we will try to understand what is dengue. Biological agent responsible for this disease, dengue virus structure and serotype, its replication and clinical representation. Dengue is a mosquito-borne disease. It is also known as breakbone fever or dengue fever. It is one of the most common disease in tropical and subtropical region. What are the tropical regions which are close to equator? These regions are warm and wet or can say hot and humid. Average temperature of every month is about 18 degrees Celsius. Example of tropical regions are Malaysia, Indonesia, Singapore, Amazon Basin of Brazil, West Africa's Congo Basin, coastal part of India, etc. Subtropical region. These regions are cooler than tropical regions and have very hot and dry weather at some time of the year. Examples are Southeastern Africa, Northern India, South China to Japan, etc. So almost half of the world's population is at risk of dengue. Dengue is a viral infection and transmitted to human being through the bite of infected mosquitoes. Species of these mosquitoes are Aedes aegypti and in some cases Aedes albopictus. Virus responsible for dengue is dengue virus. It belongs to Flaviviridae family. There are four serotypes of dengue virus. Each serotype has a different interaction with the antibodies in human blood serum. These four serotypes are DENV1, DENV2, DENV3 and DENV4. Particular serotype of dengue virus gives immunity against the same serotype. For next 2-3 months, immunity gives protection against other serotypes also. But subsequent infection may cause severe dengue illness. Structure of dengue virus. It is a spherical virus. Its diameter is around 50 nanometer. It is enveloped virus. Nucleocapsid is present around the genome. Its genome is single stranded positive sense RNA. It means it can directly translate it into proteins. It has E and M proteins which are present on the envelope. These proteins allow entry of virus into human cell. And this is the viral genome which encodes 10 different proteins. These proteins enable the virus to carry out different functions. Virus Infection and Replication First dengue virus enters into human body via mosquito bite. It reaches to human cell and attaches to its surface. It goes inside the cell by a process called endocytosis. Once reaches into cytoplasm, virus deassembles itself and releases its genome. Viral RNA translated into a single polypeptide chain and forms new structural proteins. Then virus start to reassemble on the surface of endoplasmic reticulum of human cell, then it bursts out from it. Immature particles transported to Golgi apparatus, here they get mature and convert into infectious form called virion. Mature virus release from the cell and start infecting other nearby human cells. Dengue infection represents itself in three phases. These phases are febrile phase, critical phase and recovery phase. First is febrile phase. This is the first stage of a dengue. This begins between the two to seven days after the mosquito bite. Symptoms include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, headache, body ache, muscular pain and that is also known as a myalgia, high grade fever, eye pain, bone pain also known as arthralgia. There can be a severe symptoms also which includes a hepatomegaly, this is the enlargement of a liver, lymphadenopathy, a swelling in the lymph node, body rashes, leukopenia, this is the decrease in the number of white blood cells in the blood, thrombocytopenia, a decrease in the number of red blood cells, increase in liver enzymes. Mostly patients recover after febrile phase. Next stage is critical phase. Generally, patient recovers after febrile phase, but in some cases, symptoms increase and patients enter in critical phase. 
or after recovery from the first infection within 18 months secondary infection occurs most of the time this involves other serotypes of dengue virus which was not the cause of first infection though first one may also infect the individual critical phase also start with fever and after 3 uh, 3 to 7 days of infection temperature starts to decline then patient enters into a critical phase and it lasts for 24 to 48 hours within few hours of uh, uh, critical phase patient develops severe dengue symptoms like hypertension which is decrease in blood pressure thrombocytopenia hemorrhagic manifestations are there uh, this is the bleeding from the vessels bloody stool hematemesis uh, which is the bloody vomit hepatitis which is the swelling in the liver pancreatitis uh, which means the inflammation in pancreas encephalitis which means the swelling in the brain uh, there is a dengue shock syndrome also which means uh, there is a multiple organ failure which includes liver kidney pancreas etc and in some cases death may also occur and the last phase is recovery phase in this phase symptoms improve like vital signs stabilize resolve in a hemorrhagic risk and vascular permeability sometimes itchy and puritic rashes can be seen patient may experience fatigue also but eventually they recover from all these symptoms